Malum. You don't know how to Come sit here in front. You'll be managing my man. A smart boy like you should know how to count. Let's see if you've been paying attention in math class. No, thanks. I'm perfectly fine at the back seat. When fun, I was not asking you. Hi, I'm surely being tested here. Who pays with 100 rand in a taxi in the morning? Hey, this is too much for me. You know what? Get out of my text. You can't even count money. Clearly, you don't listen in math class. You're one of those disruptive ones, when. Suga! But Malume, we use calculators at my school. Hey, Wemshan, if that's the case, why don't you use your calculator to check how fast my shambok can reach your bottoms if you do not get out of my text right now? <laughs> DK, you are late for class. Have you seen the time? Let me guess. You are going to tell me time and maths are in the same WhatsApp group. Well, for once you are raising an important point. The fact that we use maths in our everyday life. Hey sir, give my friend a break. He is defeated. No need to finish him off with a maths lecture. Perhaps I can show you how we actually use maths principles in our daily lives. Because many jobs and tasks involve the use of maths. We all know that maths is simply a study of numbers, shapes and patterns, right? <laughs> It can't be that simple, sir. It is actually that simple. Take this for example. If you want to be a carpenter, you need to know how to add, subtract, as well as what angles to cut. That is maths. Yes! Even taxi drivers need to be good at maths so that they can work out their change every day. Why not chicken? You don't know anything about taxi rides. That's an extreme sport. You wouldn't know because you are dropped off every day. Mama's boy. Anyway, we already have calculators in our smartphones. No need to stress ourselves with counting like we in the stone age. Let's hear from the rest of the class how they use maths in their everyday lives. I know my maths has to be on point when the restaurant bill comes and has to be divided. Otherwise, you end up paying for everyone. Even in insurance, actuaries must be able to calculate how much is collected from premiums and how much must be paid in claims. Like how my mother also uses maths to bake cakes. She always weighs all the ingredients to make sure the cake dough does not flop. Hi, Chickenizer. You're always thinking of anything that has to do with eating. Benefit! You guys gave excellent examples. Maths is one of the scarce skills subjects. It is not only useful in office jobs, maths is also used in sports. Sports? My ancestors agree that you are now pulling our legs. There's no way, say. Fun fact, Han Joman. I kid you not, my boy. Sports people use maths as a means to help with decision making and problem solving. They also use what we call analytics to improve their performance. Ah, uh, that's a fancy cousin of maths. When you see Lionel Messi take a free kick, do you not see him positioning himself and the soccer ball in a way that allows him to score? He's using angles and also measuring the distance. You have successfully managed to fry my brain today, sir. Why can't we use this beautiful and amazing thing called technology to solve our problems? Alright class, too many people think maths is just solving for X. It is however much more than that. It should actually be declared a basic necessity for everyone. Just like the internet. Ah, uh, you have started, sir. The world is looking for problem solvers. And despite maths being quite challenging, it can be overcome. And once you do, you become a better thinker and a problem solver. You mean to tell me I can use maths to avoid entering those school gates? If I get my angles and measurements right? That wouldn't be such a bad idea benefit. Come on now, don't just watch. Like our video and leave a comment. Click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notifications too.